All right, you two. Well, I just made a video on the Kubota cold start and everything, and uh, it's starting to look like it might rain again. I don't know. So, um, thought I'd just give you guys a tour of the shed, and uh, I showed you guys all my equipment before, but I just thought I'd show you what I actually have in my shed, um, and all that. So uh, over here, I have welding helmet. Hacksaw, um, a chipping hammer and wire brush, uh, s some welding rods, uh, steel, this steel I bought for the plow, um, clamps, brazen goggles, some more scrap metal. I was trying to make a sulky out of that, but that didn't turn out well. Um, salt, uh, calcium chloride shakers, which we bought these. And then we just refill them when we buy the 50 pound bags. And, uh, acetylene torch. Um, old Echo HC150. Um, Black & Decker hedge trimmer. Um, normally right here would be a, another, the new Echo HC150. And the door just blew shut. Maybe that's at work. Um, my dad's out with that trimmer now. Um, funnels, another black and decker edge trimmer. Um, old Super 2 chainsaw. Some gutter scoop, some spray paint, welding electrode holders, funnels. Some more funnels. These I use bad. I use these more because these got a screen in them to screen the fuel out. Uh, bar oil, antifreeze, some paint, which that was just from when we tried to paint my grandmother's house, some tin, old Shindawa chainsaw, um, these have old gas in, uh, there's some wiper, windshield wiper fluid, uh, the Red Max chainsaw, there's the Echo that sits there, the Arians and the uh, Romantis Rototiller, they sit there, there's the, uh, a vacuum boot for the other vacuum that I'll have to show you guys one time. Uh, here's the fertilizer. We normally use Winter Guard for the fall fertilizer. Well, my dad and I were looking at the uh, what it has in it, and it's pretty much the same. So we just use that now. So we got some of that. Um, some lime way down there. Um, I got some weed killer behind here. These are just some partial bags of grass seed and stuff some rope uh tools toolboxes uh, this is what i keep all my chainsaw stuff in like uh wedges and everything for when i go chainsawing here's the ryobi battery drill um i got some paint which i'm using to paint the plow uh the chainsaw some tampers air tank gas cans sprayer uh winch or uh come along load binders some weed killer uh some this is where i just keep spare uh parts kubota uh these are just nuts and bolts things that come in handy gas cans um old trimmer i got from a customer uh this is where i keep some wed mall splitting malls uh postal diggers cant hooks um trimmers they all hang there um this this we brought out of uh our basement we found it in my grandmother's basement now i use it as shelves um there's a carburetor that goes to the leaf vacuum uh, i got some wedges some oil filter wrenches chain a strap more chains battery charger uh some boxes this is the for the sander the bearing cover impact wrench uh, my uncle's lending me that jack. He just let me try it out. Um, this is the pulley for the rototiller on the garden tractor. And I've got some spare belts here for that vacuum. And this is the spare mower deck PTO part for the... Or, this is the part for the mower deck, the uh, PTO drive belt on the Simplicity. I'm not sure what the part number is on that. Um, and it just fell down. Uh, this is a... Harbor Freight Tester that I got for free with one of those coupons. Uh, impact sockets, acetylene, oxygen, um, some hand shears, an old radio, 
just some random tools. Uh, two diesel cans down there. Miracle Grow. Some more cotter pins and tools. Um, two cycle oil. Steel high performance. Um, I also got in there is some Mantis Rototiller two cycle oil, which I'm trying to use up, but it's kind of hard to get in here. Um, I also got a bottle of Husqvarna and Echo and some Lawn Boy. And I'm just dropping everything. Um, a file, a Oregon file for the chainsaw. Um, I got some old motor oil, which I put in an oil can. Um, I got Mobile One. 10W30 Kubota. Um, I got some Valvoline hydraulic oil. Uh, this is 10W30 for the dump truck. I got a jug of PB nut blaster. Um, advanced auto parts 5W30 just for the snow blowers. Uh, Pens oil 30 weight. Cam 2 for the uh, pickup truck. Um, as far as oil brands. Whatever is cheapest. I don't normally buy advanced auto parts. I only run that in the cheap snowblower. Um, but pens oil, Valvoline, anything. Um, this is 20W50 motor oil, which is the, this is used for hydraulic oil in the Skag. It uses 20W50. Um, the log splitter uses automatic transmission fluid. Um, I've got some old starting fluid. Don't buy the pyro oil. Um, this one doesn't work. The top just, they always break off. So I got Valvoline starting fluid the other day. Um, I've got another can of PB Nut Blaster. I've got some Seafoam Spray. Um, I've got some Liquid Wrench Penetrating Oil. Um, the spray bottle that came with the Nut Blaster broke. So we just bought this at the dollar store, so that's Nut Blaster. Um, I've got some fuel stabilizer and Marvel Mystery Oil and gas treatment, which that's old, and um, a Red Max saw chain, a funnel, oil can. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, so, oh, up here I got a bunch of other stuff some old tools, shovels. Boxes that came with stuff like Roundup and Echo boxes. Toro mower box. Uh, an old tube. I don't know who put that up there, but. Um, I got a roof rake. Because one of the customers, they want the roof raked. Uh, some fencing. Uh, old carry on trimmer rack box, which don't buy the carry on trimmer racks. Here they are. I took them off, like I said. You can see it was cracked there, so don't buy those. Um, watering can. Uh, some uh, weed block right here. That's what I keep there. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, here's the old mower uh, spindle out of the old Alice Chalmers tractor, or the Simplicity Tractor's mower deck. And uh, there's a lift rod in the back. Right over there for the garden tractor, but uh, yeah, I got some old bottles here. I found those. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I got some old trimmer heads in there, in that box there. Um, yeah, I'll just show you outside the shed. I got an old mower deck here, which I got to take a pulley off of it. It doesn't have a roller on it or anything. But, uh, here's the wheel weights for the tractor. Um, I got some old, this is a spreader tire that blew out, as you can see. And this is the old, uh, trailer tire for the dump trailer. That's why I got one spreader tire and one trailer tire on that, uh, trailer. Um, here's some air compressor. Uh, here's the air compressor belt, an old trimmer head, some wheels, uh, the pulley. And the air compressor tank I cut in half because I was going to make it into a grill. Never got around to doing that. Um, an old Toro leaf blower. Um, landscaping rake. Uh, hand tools or just, you know. Uh, hand tools like fork, uh, edging shovel, um, some snow shovels, hand truck, or dolly. Um, yeah, and that's it. So, 
Someone the other day requested an edging video of this. And I will get an edging video up for you. I don't have a lot of edging to do now with it turning fall. As you can see, well, it's still pretty green, but I'll just do an edging video, special edging video for you. And uh, Ethan May, he requested a cold start of all my equipment. Um, my equipment is all not here, like I said. My dad goes out to work sometimes with different pieces of equipment. I'm at doing other jobs around the area here, around the uh, yard or nearby, so I'm not... All my equipment is not always here, so um, on a day that I'm not working or anything, I will do cold starts of all my equipment. Um, so, yeah. Uh, see you guys.